Goodbye, Metro. Goodbye. You are an absolute sellout, mate. I'm done with it. I am done with this whole saga. How at the age of 28 are you leaving the Premier League to go to Saudi Arabia for a couple of quid? For a couple of quid, what is the point? You are wasting your career. You had so much potential. Everyone doubted you in the Premier League, mate. And you gave a massive two fingers up to everyone last season. And now you're selling out. Now you're going to Saudi Arabia for a couple of quid. Why? You want to play up top with Neymar? You want some average Saudi Arabian centre? You want to score like 50 goals a season in the Saudi Pro League? Get Cristiano Ronaldo shot. You are a loser, mate. This is a giant stain on his history at Fulham, mate. I'm done with it. I'm so glad that it's finally over. I would be happy if this guy joined any club, any club, even Chelsea, even Brentford in the Premier League. The fact that he is selling out and going to Saudi Arabia is poor form, just because what his best mate, Milinkovic Savage, has gone over there. Oh, because Neymar's going to be up for it. Oh, because Ruben Nevers is going to be in the midfield. Why? We've known this for so many weeks, but we didn't actually think the rumours were going to progress. 52 million quid. It's a good price we've got. It's a very good price. And I'm glad that Marco Silva has confirmed that he is leaving the club at his press conference after we pathetically lost 3-0 to Brentford. There will be another video on that. In case you didn't see, Fabrizio Romano... About an hour ago, Alexander Mitrovic to Al Hilal. Here we go. I'm so done with hearing that catchphrase. I am so done of transfers, mate. It's pathetic. Three-year deal agreed weeks ago. The green light has been given from Fulham. Worth more than 50 million euros. Sign Balogun right now. Let's get that deal done. Raul Jimenez is not the guy. I'm sorry. He's not the guy. It's not happening. He was pathetic against Brentford this afternoon. We need to bring in a proper, strong, robust number nine to replace Alexander Mitrovic. Raul Jimenez is not that Man, other parts of Fabrizio Romano Suisse documents being checked today in order to be signed. Flight booked tonight, medical in Paris, already completed, contract until 2026. I don't understand this at all. Why? Why have you gone to Saudi Arabia to sell out? Are they offering you £450,000 a day to post on Instagram? What is the point? There is no competitive edge in Saudi there is nothing. It is just a Super League. That's exactly what it is. And I know people will probably say to me, the Premier League's been a Super League for about 30 years. Yes, I completely understand that. But there is no infrastructure in Saudi. There is no youth prodigies coming through in Saudi. Football is part of the culture in England, and it always has been. They are just trying to build this artificial league, and people are actually dumb enough to go over there. I don't have an issue with people going to Saudi for their beliefs or if they're looking for one last payday. But at the age of 28, have a bit of ambition in your life. This stinks, mate. This is pathetic. A player in his prime should not be selling out and going to Saudi Arabia. I'm completely done with it, mate, to be honest with you. I'm happy he's a club legend. He gets on my full amount rush more, but it does leave a ginormous stain on his time at Fulham, um, there is no progression whatsoever, mate. He could have gone easily to Manchester United. Obviously, he didn't want him after his theatrics in the FA Cup quarterfinal last season. They went for Rasmus Hoyland and said a guy that's unproven and has only scored, what, nine Serie A goals and said Tottenham Hotspur have just let go of Harry Kane. He's in Bayern Munich. Is Richarlison really going to lead the line for him? They could have signed him. Probably didn't want him because he's too much of a risk. You ruined every single prospect that you had in the Premier League. Surely you would rather score goals for Fulham than a pathetic 90,000 stadium at Al Halal. The Saudi Pro League means nothing. It will not be big in 30 years' time. People don't care already, and they're not going to care now. Well done, Mitrovic. You, you've collected the golden boot in Saudi Arabia. You scored a solid 70 goals. What does that even mean? This is all for financial gain. I can't stress it anymore. Yeah, but he'll be able to help his family for generations and generations and generations and generations and generations and generations. And generations. <sighs> 
This guy should be playing in the Champions League. As simple as that. He is one of the top strikers in not only Europe, but the whole world. I was in love with this guy at Fulham. His style of play, he was an old school striker that everyone loved. He was the pantomime villain, the person that you hated to come up against, but the player you loved having in your team. Examples of other strikers like it, Diego Costa. People hated coming up against Diego Costa, but when he played for Chelsea, and we'll forget about that term at Wolves, everyone loved him at Stamford Bridge, and everyone adored Alexander Mitrovic. I would have much, genuinely, hand on heart, I will say this to you right now, I would much rather, I would have much rather Alexander Mitrovic joins Chelsea than going to Al Halal and wasting his career. What is, is, is pathetic. It's just a bit sad. And I'm going to have Al Halal fans in my comment section saying this, that and the other, like you're disrespecting our league. How am I disrespecting it at all? I'm answering it right now. You've taken Fulham's best player and it's just, it's just, Fair enough. Like, fair play. I, I, I'm completely lost for words now. I'm just rambling on. But still, have a bit of heart. Have a bit of ambition. I know you're probably going to be paid, what, £350,000 a week. But surely, surely accolades in the Premier League, leaving Fulham for a Premier League club, competing for trophies, winning an FA Cup. Win mate, winning the Community Shield is bigger than winning the Saudi Pro League. There, I said it. I would rather win the Johnson's Paint Trophy than the Saudi Pro League, mate. It's, it's, the game's gone. The game has completely gone. I wish him all the best. Hope you enjoy the money. Hope you enjoy the Lamborghini. There is genuinely nothing out there that is fun. London was the best place for him. And his kid's a Chelsea fan. His kid probably would have loved to have bought Mitrovic, number nine, for Chelsea. Chelsea are buying everyone. So why didn't they try and force a move? Why didn't he try and force a move to Chelsea? Instead, he's rather a sellout. Join his mate, Milinkovic Savic. Well done. You, sir, are a sellout. You're pathetic. I didn't actually, I thought this was all going to be paper talk. I actually thought after Everton last weekend that he was going to stay. How wrong was I? Enjoy it, bud. Enjoy the swimming pool. Enjoy the hot weather. Enjoy the 50,000 goals that you're going to score in one season because you're literally coming up against players that wouldn't even get into a pub team. If you've not seen some of the highlights, Sam Axelman just skips past people. He's good. Mitrovic is going to be scoring bicycle kicks, scorpion kicks, every single kind of goal. It's boring. It's pathetic. The takeover's happening and it's already begun. This is a huge statement signing and the Premier League has actually lost a real character in Alexander Mitrovic. So farewell. Thanks for your time at Fulham. Those 43 goals in that championship season was so special and it's now just gone away. These Fulham fans stuck by you for so long, so long. It's time for us now to take that money, buy Balogun, buy someone that actually probably wants to be at the club, change our style of play instead of hoofing it up to a target man and buy some proper robust players that want to be at the club and are not looking for another payday. Enjoy yourself. Goodbye. Please remember to like and subscribe. You are a complete and utter fool.